Today I'm going to talk about cultural evolution. When you think about cultural evolution, usually you're imagining that it's about just the evolution of the artifacts around us, the kinds of signage, the kinds of religions, the kinds of institutions that we have, but really it's also about the kinds of powers those things give us. We've become more intelligent. We've become more capable creatures. So for example, one of the things I've argued about in my earlier book, Harnessed, is how um, writing and language have shaped themselves, have culturally evolved to look and to sound like facets of nature, thereby harnessing our brain, which is good for nature. That's how we've come to have these capabilities of language. But it's not just mental kinds of capabilities. Even physically, we've gotten stronger. If you look at the best gymnasts 30 years ago, they look terrible by today's standards. But they haven't biologically evolved to be stronger. These are cultural inventions, new training techniques, new kinds of equipment that have given us new kinds of physical and mental powers by virtue, by virtue of cultural evolution.